So a little while ago, Hasbro decided to release this Jabba's Palace Adventure playset, and they had it marked at a pretty steep sixty dollars. Uh, of course, a lot of people didn't buy it for sixty bucks, because sixty bucks is a little steep for two three and a quarter inch figures and what is essentially just a pretty big chunk of pretty fairly kind of hollow, not too uber duper quality plastic. Doesn't even have a, a floor base. Um, but for 25 bucks, what I paid for it from Walmart, it's well worth it, man. Uh, I mean, what is here is good, but I just don't feel like there is $60 worth of stuff here. I would say this, I, I don't know, like, I feel like the figures themselves are still a little too expensive. They should be like 10 bucks each, so 20 bucks for that, then like 20 bucks for this, because there's no deeper engineering involved. It's pretty hollow. And besides the nice paint and sculpt, there really just isn't too much there. Uh, I do enjoy this set, but it just wasn't worth 60 bucks. So I'm very happy I paid just 25. I think 25 is more than fair. I think it should have retailed for 40, but what can you do? Uh, but anyways, uh, these are the figures it comes with. Uh, you get Riyiz, and you get Han Solo, and you also get his Carbonite block. So as you can see right here, uh, these are the figures you get. These are the exact figures you get. Uh, I know you may be thinking, wow, those things look really old and crappy. Well, that's because, yeah, they're the old ones. Um, this is the actual Han Solo you get. Uh, <laughs> And I just want to do a comparison of the old ones. And I've never talked about this in a video. Look at how sad the, this old Han Solo looks. I mean, the new one doesn't have the best likeness. Sad thing is, honestly, the old one probably has a better likeness with the face. Um, but it looks so sad. And the body proportion and sculpt is just pretty blech. But this one, this one's not bad. The new one. Uh, you get a couple accessories with them. You have uh, this this pair of handcuffs and this pair of handcuffs from those times. He had different looking handcuffs. So you can have them like, oh, I got handcuffed by two different people, two different times. Articulation on this hand salar is pretty good. I mean, it's it, it's actually a Black Series reissue on a vintage collection card back. Um, so it doesn't have like the super premium TVC articulation you come to expect nowadays. But it's still pretty nice. And you did get it on a TVC card, which is actually really nice. Um, so this is the card you got, Han Solo Carbonite, and the picture is actually Han in Carbonite. So that's pretty interesting. And then, of course, you also got the Carbonite block. This is the old one. <laughs> I just wanted to show this off because this is the big honker chonker that uh, we've had for a while. You take this Han Saller. Are you tired of me calling him that yet? Because uh, I am. Then you just clip him in there. And then there you go. Then you can, like, release him from his prison. Ugh. But no, that's dumb. Who wants to do that? This is the new one. Uh, as you can see, it looks much better. It's definitely more in proportion. Even though if you compare it to the size of the figure, it seems a little too small. Just a little bit, but not enough to really care. Um, but it's actually magnetic. You can see right there, that's where the magnet goes. And you have this little piece right here that can slide. doop a doop a doop a doop and it actually just magnetizes. Magnetize! Magnetize! Uh, and then, there you go. You can have it go down if you have Leia, like, lower it. That's interesting. Uh, but yes, you can actually put this on your fridge if you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a shame, though, you can put this on your fridge. Because um, I just want to have it on my fridge now. I might... I, I'm seriously thinking about just putting this in my display. It doesn't look as good. I'm thinking about just sitting that there and putting this on my fridge. I'm being dead serious. Yeah, let's just leave that there for the sake of leaving that there. And then Reese, of course. Uh, this is the old Reese we've had for a while. And then in the Black Series line, they came out with the newer looking Reese, which is much better. Uh, so I didn't even get the Black Series Reese or the Han. I actually passed on them when they first came out. Um, but now I have them, and I'm pretty happy with them. The old Reese isn't bad, right? It's kind of disproportionate, it's kind of weird looking, but it's not that bad. This though, this though is pretty nice. Uh, it looks, it looks good. Uh, it's got, it's got articulation, man. You can see, you can see how it moves. He has two guns, which is pretty neat. I don't think he needs two guns, but he has two guns. Really nice ball joint at the head. You know, he, he can move. Nothing at the ankles, though. That's, that's kind of disappointing. But yeah, it's a pretty good Reese figure. I'm actually really happy with it. Then he also came with a vintage collection card. You can see Reyes. And unfortunately, even though these things were packed in the box, look at that. 
Look at that. They tried to pack them neatly, but they still failed at keeping them nice. Good on you, Hasbro. I appreciate that. That's pretty much it with the figures. There's much to say. I mean, they look nice. There's a closer look at Reeves. He looks nice. But, I mean, it's a three and a quarter inch Star Wars figure. There isn't too much to say. Um, that's why I usually kind of bundle them together when I review them. But we also have the playset to discuss. This thing's actually pretty nice. Uh, like I said, it is kind of... It's kind of underwhelming, but it is nice. Uh, you can see it has these sidewalls, which look really nice in a display. If you just have it enclosed like this. I just want to like get clone troopers and like stormtroopers. Mostly stormtroopers. I mostly played uh, Galactic Civil War. I have them going around fighting Endor-looking rebels, like from the original Battlefront 2 on this map. That looks so cool. Even though I think in Battlefront it's two Tauntaun heads, but with this as a Tauntaun and as something that's not a Tauntaun, I don't know what that is. I'm not really too bothered to know. But if you want to tell me, feel free. Not really too concerned. But if you want to tell me what animal that is, I would uh, acknowledge that information. Uh, but you do have paint. You can see it's it's painted. It looks nice, man. It does look nice. See the Tauntaun head right there. I mean, it, it's a quality item. It's it's a very quality item. There's another look at the Han and Carbonite. You can see all the details. It looks really good for dioramas. This is definitely something to buy if you have a lot of Jabba's Palace guys. And me personally, I pretty much have them all. So this was kind of something I've been wanting because I think it'll look nice on my uh, shelf. You can see up there just the embroidery. It looks nice. It does. And then on the top even, um, if we just kind of flip this down, let's see how well that Han stays on. Look, it's actually staying on. Isn't that cool? On the top, you can even see even more detail. Well, the vents and things, it's really cool. You can actually probably use that for ambient lighting, um, since it actually is a vent. You could probably turn off all the other lights. Here, I have this little orb light. You can probably just shine something through. Then that would probably look really nice for, like, photography or something. Give some good, great lighting. Um, that's I'm sure someone's probably done that. There we go. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much the main piece. And then you have these side pieces, which are kind of disappointing, because they don't hinge or anything. They actually just come off and then reattach for the modularity. And, I mean, that that's nice if you want options. I don't know what the more, most accurate configuration is, um, but you can have options for your shelf. Me, personally, it's probably going to be... I'm probably going to have one of these fully detached. I'm probably going to have one like this, and I'm probably going to have the other on the other side like that to just, just to kind of enclose the whole thing. Um, you can see these pieces are pretty much uh, very similar, but not identical. But they're pretty hollow. This this is pretty hollow plastic. Even though they did paint the inside and they did detail it. I mean, i got to give them kudos for that, but it looks so weird. It looks so weird. It's like, are these supposed to be shelves? Right here, it's like Reese is like, oh man, I need to leave these handcuffs on this shelf right here. I'm just going to leave them right there. Yeah, I'll be on my merry way. I, I don't know. Like, you, you could use them as shelves, I guess, but, eh. And then you have the other side as well. You can see the differences in the detail. This side, nicely, has less detail. So I appreciate that, Hasbro. Thank you very much. Uh, but, I mean, what can you do? There, there are things. And then look at the back of this display base. Or this play set, I should say. I mean, for being a play set, it doesn't have a lot of features. It's more of like a diorama piece. You can see where the heads plug in. You can see the knob for ra uh, raising and lowering that. You can see just these little rivets there. It's pretty much... This This is not meant to look pretty at all. That's just the practical use. They made these look pretty for... It's not even that pretty, though. It's like, what was the point of sculpting and painting that? That took up so much budget. You probably knocked five bucks off if you didn't do that. Because I don't want to look at this. That looks ugly. I'm sorry. I mean, if... If not doing that means that this would have been a cheaper set, I would say please refrain from doing that. But they they did it. Um, it's a real shame, though, that this went on clearance in, in some aspects, because that means that they probably didn't make enough money off of this thing. Because uh, let me, this probably took about 25 bucks to produce. Might have been a little less, but it's probably not a cheap set. Uh, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy having it. 25 bucks was a more than fair price. Uh, I would definitely recommend it for 25 40 is probably the fair price, in my opinion. Um, but it's definitely for Jabba's Palace diehards, people who have most of, if not all of the characters to go in the palace. You need to have a Jabba, you need to have a Bib Fortuna, you need to have everybody for this to really look nice. 
if it's just a few figures, it's kind of, it's kind of like, man, you need to bulk it up. Uh, but I do enjoy this. I do enjoy this, and I do recommend it. Uh, but just not for 60 bucks. There we go, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. This was my P.O. Box address and frequently asked questions. Have a good day. See you later. Adios. Uh, now I just need to completely remake my shelf to put this on it. I just wanted to film this video so I could just finally put this on my shelf because I've had it on my desk for like a week and it takes up way too much space. See you guys.